A little warning before the video starts, the mouse didn't record quite right. So it looks like it's on the far right when really it's closer to the middle. And yeah, just doesn't look like. In spite of that, enjoy the video. Today's challenge is to get gold one. But you may be thinking, Isaac, didn't you already do that? You are correct, I have done that before. With GDI. But this is going to be totally different with Nod. See, it is totally different. So you can see, GDI has these riflemen, okay, okay? And, uh, Nod has the militant. See, totally different, okay? See, these guys, three tiles away of vision. These guys, uh, also three tiles away. Okay, there are some differences. Okay, see? Missile squad. And see? Laser squad. See? Those are two totally different things. So, therefore, two totally different videos. And you better love the video, and you better comment on how much you love the video. And then after you do that, hit that like button to show how much you love the video. Yeah, do it, I dare you. Anyway, let's collect all the crates and things from being away, because, you know, haven't played this for a bit. We have a bit of an upper hand this time. You see, with GDI, we only well, we had this guy, this guy, and we're, and then these two at first, and we didn't have very many of them. But for Nod, this time, look how many hearts. 43, 10, 33, 10, 24, 59, 9, which is a lot for epic cards. 25, 1. We have a lot of cards this time. And a lot of gold to waste it. I mean, strategically use it on. See? Huge leg up. And speaking of which, I already have a strategy in mind, as I did the last video, but I'm gonna go through it a bit more. So I'm gonna be using these guys, these guys, these guys, these two, this dude, and this dude. Anyway, let's go ahead and start upgrading. These guys, pain in the butt at the beginning. Like with the shockwave troopers, these guys right here. I'm gonna upgrade these as much as I can, because I'm mean like that. And don't have enough. Ghost is a regular human being, so therefore I should treat him as such and kick his butt. Ooh, that's not gonna end well, as you can see. I already control choose points, so I'm just gonna leave it that. So I'm gonna build this second harvester so I can start getting a lot more resources and pull ahead of him. See why I upgraded the flame guys in what was that, three seconds? They just demolished them. And so I'm just gonna take over the rocket. Am I gonna win before I even pull out these guys? Actually, I'm gonna pull them out anyway just to be mean. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, look at him! He's moving up in the world! Let's get the tick tank and show you how powerful he is. No, don't go that way. Go to, actually, yeah, go this way. Go right there. Why am I talking like this? Anyway, these two aren't very strong against each other, which can be good if you just want, like, a stalemate. Okay, I just won before even getting to use these guys. That's kind of sad. But I want to show you guys how they work. Oh, well. This time, I'm going to go straight for getting two harvesters so I can get collected resources a lot faster. So now that I have those guys, I'm going to... Oh, I think he's going to go for my harvester. See? Yes? No, maybe so. Anyway, it's okay if he has that one spot. I'm just going to capture right there with these guys and hold on to it with an iron grip. And I'm going to send some guys over there. I don't think they have much, so send in Tick Tank. And go Moita the Harvester. This is a fun ability. Haha. -ha. Just instant flame troopers. Granted, they're only the level of this, but they work. So now that this tech tank is here on the only Tiberium supplies, mine is over here, but they'd have to manually make the Harvester go over here. So I'm essentially just blocking off their Tiberium. Therefore, almost guaranteeing myself the victory. It's kind of toxic, actually. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go with the double strategy. I can't talk. This time I'm gonna go with the double harvester strategy. And then I'm gonna put flame troopers here. Or here and here. Or really here first. In case they decide to go after my harvesters. Which granted is unlikely at this level. Not level rank, but possible. Send in my tick tank down here. And I'm gonna take his harvester. I'm gonna send in the... Rockworm here, get rid of that guy, because he could just snake around and attack that. And the cool thing about the Rockworm, he can't be attacked until he pops out. Oh, look how much Tiberium I have. 
530. I think that's enough to fully fund a decent army. <sighs> Double harvester method is pretty effective. If the other people don't immediately decide to build these guys. They're really fast, as you can see. And they're anti-tank, which is harvesters, which gets annoying. Wait, this can't be right. We have a couple more minutes, right? Didn't it take a couple more minutes for the other video to get here? You want to know why? It took twice as long to get to 1700 medals for GDI than it did Nod. Look at the time difference between GDI and Nod. Yeah, I'm not sure how exactly that happened, but it did. So, yay. You may be wondering. Isaac, why do you have two and a half hundred less medals from both Nod and GDI? I'll tell you. The end of the January season ended before me recording this bit, and here's how well I did. Yeah, it's a lot better than I thought I did, but hey. Yay. I also fought a person with an avatar. And in case you didn't know, to have an avatar, you need to be level 40. Do you know what level 40 is? The max level in this game. So, uh, GG to that person. Uh, I still don't know how to end these things, so, uh, goodbye.